Hey, so I wanted to show some of the stuff that I just picked up from Hobby Lobby. They have all their fall stuff 40% off, and they actually have some Christmas stuff out that is also 40% off. So I just started decorating for fall last year. We always decorated for Halloween, but never fall. So picked up just a few things, and last year I also picked up some stuff from Hobby Lobby as well. But just wanted to share some stuff. So I got these pillowcases. They're eleven ninety nine. They're the same kind, but the back, well, you can see in the picture, they got the buffalo check. 40% off these. And then last year, for my tear tray, I bought a little blue truck like this, and it had a pumpkin in it. So I figured that would match that part. And this actually, $14.99 and the 40% off. And then this. I actually seen this all over YouTube. Um, I had to have it. It's gorgeous. And this is $34.99. And I love that leather print. That's $6.99. And $6.99 again. And then this again is probably gonna go for my tear tray. And that was $2.99. This I found actually hidden. It's $12.99. I found it hidden by mistake behind another pumpkin, and I could not find any more like that. This was in their fall line, um, but actually I'll probably keep it out all year round. It's $9.99. This, yeah, I'll probably keep it in our curio cabinet all year round. And then the same with the Doble. This will probably stay out all year round. It's $34.99. And then this, I don't know, I'll probably just change the flowers on it. Um, $23.99, I'll probably just change the flowers and keep it up all year round, at least for Christmas, because I was actually looking for one of those last Christmas for um, some large candy kings that I have by the front door. And this actually will probably just go with our Halloween stuff. It's $15.99. Our downstairs movie room is all Halloween theme and that will actually probably just get put in there. And then I regret not buying. They had three different sizes of these. $5.99. Um, that was in their fall stuff too so it was 40% off as well. But they had, I want to say this is the medium one, so they had one larger and then one smaller. Um, tiny little sign. I tried finding, they have a bigger sign of this, but I couldn't find it, so I settled for the small one. And that was $3.99. And that's going to get put on probably a tear tray as well. And then I need some more pumpkins. So $9.99 and $9.99. And I thought that plaid was so cute. Just something neutral. And then this big sign. So I really don't have much stuff on my walls. But the holiday times, i that's when I put all my stuff up. And then after, I just take it all down. And my walls stay pretty bare throughout the year. So I don't look too crowded. But this was too pretty. And it was... It was actually $50. But if you have the 40% off, it wasn't too bad. And I just gave you a shot of my messy kitchen. Um, so ignore that. Um, this... $2.99, I got three of these. It's just, it kind of looks like, I don't even know what you call it. Does it say on there what it's called? It just says fall. I don't know. Does anybody know what that is? But, I don't know. Hey, something. And then these are so pretty. I love that color. It actually looks more pink on the camera, but I want to say in person it's probably more of a Kind of like a champagne color cream with a tint of pink and that was $3.99 and these after their Christmas I'll probably put them back out um, at least for spring and summer and I can't remember if I showed you these these beads are $6.99 um, and I'm pretty sure these were actually half off I have some crafts that I will be doing with that and then I also bought rug so it's $17.99 it's gonna go for our, 
our step outside. I don't have a porch, but it's a step. And I'm going to do a another rug on top of it. But I just didn't like their selection they had there. They only had one, and I didn't care for the print of it. But it's a pretty good size. Let's say 26 by 40 inches. So that is it for the Hobby Lobby. I picked up a couple things from Dollar Tree. My local grocery store didn't have their stuff out yet, and I really didn't see too much at Home Goods and um, like TJ Maxx. So that is it, but I will show you the Dollar Tree now. Okay, so I did get some Thanksgiving, Halloween, and fall stuff. So you know how you watch YouTube and you see all these YouTubers that have beautiful Dollar Trees? Mine is not like that. Mine barely has anything. It's barely come out with any fall stuff. I keep waiting for it. No, um, maybe like two items of Halloween so far. So I just got this metal steak. I don't think it's going to go outside because it's paper. And if it gets wet, it will wreck it. So I'll probably just stick it in a plant inside or something. I don't even know if I'll even use it. For that, I might end up cutting the wire off. Yeah, my floors look filthy. Okay. Anyway, so that's more Thanksgiving-y. This is going to go in our movie room along with... These are metal or tin words. I thought they were cute. Haunted, spooky, and beware. And some little witch brooms. And these pumpkins. I actually have a DIY I'm going to share with you. So I bought, I think about like seven of them. But you only need... Four for the DIY, or you, you don't even need these if you don't want to, but I'm going to get those and we're going to remodel those. And then this I bought, I have a ring, like hoop, reef hoop, that I'm actually going to do, I don't know what they're called, like mac, like where they put the yarn and they, let me do my scissor hands. Um, they do macrame on them, mac, macrame, you know what I'm talking about. And then... This little dome. I don't know. I, I don't know. I might use it for Christmas. I think they have some out at Christmas time. I may just throw a couple pumpkins in here and stick it on a counter or something. I don't know what I'll do with it. And then these were too cute. I'm surprised to see that at the Dollar Tree. And then he is going to get a makeover. I think I'm just going to probably paint them white. These I actually bought. They weren't even a fall thing. I bought them. Um, probably July and they were just in the candle section they're pretty and I did buy this that's gonna go with the craft it's always good to actually have some in hand and then this so I seen all over like Pinterest and YouTube where people will use these pictures for crafts so what I actually think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buy a frame and then I will actually just take all these pieces out and I will just stick them in the frame and then just rotate them throughout the year. But they're so cute in that bee. That's cute. I got bee stuff in my kitchen. And then this is actually probably going to go into my office. But I thought their pictures are too cute. I don't know. Maybe I'll use them after the year's done. But I wanted to hang it in my office. All right. And then these berry garland does it say how big nine feet that's actually i thought pretty good for a dollar um so i bought what, five of those don't even know what i'm using them for they're just too cute so i had to grab them and this wired jute so we made pumpkins a couple years ago using these just because i seen it on pinterest and i don't know it just kind of flopped i didn't realize they actually made a wired jute so i picked those up and we're going to give it a try again and I bought some ribbon. That was cute. This I actually just used for a craft. I don't know why this one's open. I don't think I used that one. That reminds me more of a Thanksgiving. And so does this one. And this is probably going to get a makeover. I'm trying to debate if I'll paint it or not. But I have a small little bird's nest. And I thought that would be cute in there. Somehow incorporate it in for fall. And these, the, I don't know, they look fake, but I actually have a karaoke cabinet that I will stick 
flowers and you can't really you can just see the color but you can't really see the texture so I thought maybe that will look good and these are those foxtails right and ah oh, it's from those it's sticking all over okay so cotton balls cotton these things have made such a mess even the lady when she was checking us out she's like well have fun with these they're really cool looking but they're very messy so i'll probably just stick them in somewhere and then stick them in a curio cabinet so they don't get knocked over or anything and these buckets i don't think i'm gonna remake like remodel these they're just too cute <laughs> Always be thankful and give thanks. I don't even know what I'm going to do with all these buckets. I bought these. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I did a DIY with that. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Um, so there's that one. And then I got a taller one. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. Those might. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something for Christmas with them. And then I bought three of these. One big one and then two smaller ones. Um, my girls' doors, I hang wreaths normally on there because their bedrooms are in the upstairs of the house, which mostly gets decorated. And this, so I bought it. It was just plain wood color, and I painted it and used my Cricut to do a welcome sign. And then I could flip it over. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. So I just redid that. And then this actually made cinnamon i made this with everything from dollar tree except for the lettering i did that with my cricut and then this is i think it's it's like cock which i bought at dollar tree as well and these at dollar tree and then i think it's either well that's from the dollar tree that's um the foam for the flowers and this is either i can't remember if i did pumpkin spice or cinnamon on there but then i thought it was pretty cute Turned out cute. I bought a couple different ones. Eh, first couple failed. I didn't realize how much they actually flap down, how heavy they get. So we decided to put that in the middle, and that seemed to work. And then these are not from the Dollar Tree, but I did make them um, with my Cricut. And painted them. And this one, too. Uh, I just bought my Cricut a couple weeks ago, so I've been playing around with it. So I got those for the tear trays as well. So that is it. Now I'm going to show you um, the craft I have for you. Okay, so for this craft, um, I'm going to be using four pumpkins. These are from Dollar Tree. And then this contact paper is also from Dollar Tree. It's got like the, the wood look to it. A poster board, which mine bent or actually it's not a poster board it's like a foam board yeah oh yeah eh. so this says foam board um anyways one of those doesn't matter the color so we'll get painted or not painted cover up and some floral foam and this is an the craft section at Dollar Tree. You could probably even use scissors, honestly. And then I'm going to be using Waverly chalk paint and white. You can use whatever you want. It's going to be for painting the pumpkins. And then obviously a paintbrush. So most of the stuff came from the Dollar Tree except for the Waverly chalk paint. Even this paintbrush came from the Dollar Tree. And then Spanish moss is actually what I will be using. I have a big bag from Hobby Lobby. So I'll actually be using that. It was actually cheaper for me to go to Hobby Lobby and buy the big bag because I also had a coupon for 40% off. It was last year when they still had those coupons. So I just bought it then. But I do know that Dollar Tree does sell the Spanish moss. All right, let's get started. You start off with your poster board and then either your knife or scissors. And then you're going to want to make three pieces of the same this will be your bottom and then your two sides. And then you're also going to do two other sides that will be smaller, depending on if you're wanting like a box or a rectangle.
Next, you're going to see me using this cardboard for the small side pieces. I realized because of how big of the box I wanted to do, I actually didn't have enough to do my side pieces. Um, I just used, like I said, this recycled cardboard that I actually was painting on earlier. After I'm done cutting these, you're going to see me start putting the contact paper on to give it the wood look. I realized I didn't show what it looks like on the outside, but this is actually the inside piece. Um, you just want to make sure that it goes far enough down so if you have the box, you can see the wood instead of the white. Now you're going to see me paint all the pumpkins. I paint them all white. I realized I don't show me painting the stems brown because I couldn't find my brown paint at the time. Um, I have also in the past, instead of painting the stems, I have put rope on them. Or I've seen where some people will put like um, cork inside where the stems would go or like wood. But I just wanted to keep mine simple so I just wanted to paint it because I just couldn't find my brown paint. So I do show what it looks like at the very end. I just didn't show me painting it. Now you can see that I'm using the hot glue and I'm attaching the bottom piece to one of the side pieces. All right, so I end up taking some painter's tape and then holding it there and then putting just a bead of hot glue down the middle. Again, super glue will work, but I'm just gonna do hot glue and it will help hold it together. And I just glued the side. I want to glue right here. And I... Okay, I'll slide that on. It's nice and straight on the outside and then I'm going to do a bead of hot glue going up and down. 
I did buy the clear hot glue, so it does help with this, um, not seeing it so much. And then we're going to do that on both the other sides. All right, and when it's all done, you will have yourself a box. Side. You can see some gaps. Like I said, I didn't sit there and measure. Um, but I think it come together pretty well. So we're going to fill it up now. Here's the final product. So you can kind of play around with it. I might make a little bit less moss right there, but it works out. I like it. I do think some lambs ear would be really cute on it, but this will work for now. Thanks for watching.